What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I wanna to try out a new plastic welding gun because I've been in many situations where I've cracked plastic objects and I needed to somehow stitch them back or weld them together. Let's say I happen to crack the fenders on say an ATV or a UTV. Typically what I might do is just try to super glue them or maybe drill little holes on either side of the crack and run a zip tie through it. And just this week, I cracked the chute on my lawnmower chute. So instead of zip tying that, I wanted to try out something new. And the product that I'm going to try out today is the SunPal plastic welding gun. So without further ado, let's jump in and let's check it out. Okay, so this right here is the SunPal plastic welding gun. In my opinion, it's more like a stitching gun, and I'll show you what I mean here in a minute. But if we open it up, it's gonna come with some basic instructions and things like that. Here is your plastic welding gun here. It does come with an attached cord. Set that aside. And then it looks like it comes with a utility knife, which is nice. And then over here, looks like it has some wire cutters or staple cutters there. And then over here, it looks like it has an attachment tip for the gun. We'll set that aside there. And then over here are different size staples. So there are wave staples. There's inside corner staples, outside corner staples, and flat staples. And when you take it out, you have like a nice little container full of them. So it comes with all of this in this kit. So basically what you're doing is you're loading up one of these staples into the actual welding gun over here, and then you're pretty much melting it into place, and that staple is holding the crack shut in the middle. So let me go ahead and get this gun heating up, and we're gonna try it out on my lawnmower chute here, and we're gonna see how well it works. Okay, so I went ahead and I plugged in the gun, and how you know it works is when you pull the trigger, the light will light up at the very tip here, and it starts creating heat very fast. So basically when it's just sitting here, it's not creating the heat. It's only creating the heat when you pull in the trigger. But again, I just wanna repeat, when you hold that trigger in, that is gonna heat up extremely fast. So there is a little diagram here that tells you what each stitch is primarily used for, in case you're wondering which style stitch you want to use. So when you're ready, you're gonna squeeze the trigger and heat the tip up for about three or four seconds, and then you're gonna press it right across the middle of your crack and it's gonna melt into the plastic. And then you're gonna pull the gun away from the staple. And then once it cools down, you could use your wire cutters and cut off the little excess stitches hanging off the staple and you'll be good to go. So let's go ahead and try this first one. We're gonna hold the trigger. It's turning red. Okay, there you go. That's the first one. So I'll get you closer here. So as you can see there, it melts right into the plastic. Once you melt it into the plastic, you wanna let go of the trigger for a couple seconds, maybe blow on it, let that plastic cool a little bit, and then you could gently pull the heat gun away from the staple, and then we're just gonna keep moving down. Now be careful, because it still might be hot. So again, just use your judgment. One, two, three, Four seconds, it's already red. There you go, that's the second one. So let me go ahead and start stapling the rest all the way down using the same exact technique, and I'll be right back in a second. Okay, so we went ahead and we got the stitches all cut out. And then I just used the welding gun with the flat tip at the end. And I took the tip over top of the seam and kind of melted over where the staples were so they want to pop back out the other side. But so far, it seems to be holding up pretty well. Now down here, there's a little bit more of a gap down here because this was pretty busted up at the front here to where plastic was actually ripping off. So I probably could use this tip here and melt more of the plastic to fill in that gap a little bit better. But I'm not that worried about it on the lawnmower chute just because it's gonna continue to take a beating. But so far, it's holding it in place. I mean, this feels pretty strong and it's not moving or budging. So I'd say overall, this SunPal plastic welding gun is doing a pretty good job. 
But overall, I think this is a really cool little tool. It works just as it should. It heats up the staples into the plastic. And then when you blow on it and it cools it down, it actually is creating a bonding point on both sides of the cracked plastic, holding them together. And then you could just go ahead and use the melting tip like this and just kind of spread out and melt the plastic over the seams for an even better seal. So at the end of the day, my overall impressions of the SunPal plastic welding gun, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a thumbs up and give it a go. It works just as it should. It's very simple and easy to use. And as you can see here, I was able to fix my broken lawnmower chute and get a little bit more time out of it. So if you happen to be running into broken plastic pieces, such as a broken plastic lawnmower chute like this, maybe broken fenders on your dirt bike, your ATV, your UTV, or anything like that, I would highly recommend checking out the SunPal plastic welding gun because it works great at stitching broken plastic. Okay, everybody, so there you go. So we went ahead and we used the SunPal plastic welding gun to fix my cracked plastic lawnmower chute, and it worked out pretty well. I'm pretty happy with the results overall. But there you go, guys. That's gonna be it for today's video. I hope this video helps some of you out. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button and like this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And also do me a favor, subscribe to the channel because it helps me out and I greatly appreciate it. So that's it. I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you. Thank you. I truly appreciate you all. And as always, see you in the next video.